Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here, and this will be an unboxing video of the Hot Toys Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch New Avengers MMS 357 Sideshow number 902702 16 scale figure made in China. Let's get her out of the box. Now the packaging on this box is a little different than the Avengers boxing that we've been getting lately with the giant A in the front. Matter of fact, we, we do still have that giant A on there. It's just uh, overshadowed drastically by this uh, Captain America shield or whatever. T truthfully looking at this, I, I kind of get the um, feeling or the thought of this television show that was on back in the 60s called The Avengers, and I just kind of get that feeling of uh, The Avengers looking at that. has absolutely nothing to do with Marvel's Avengers. It's a, it was a whole different uh, television series, kind of the cloak and dagger, with a little bit of uh, probably a little humor in it. I kind of get that feeling looking at this box. I don't know, for some reason I just think the Avengers from the 60s uh, television show. Uh, it's a really cool box here. So we have like this mystic look of, of uh, Scarlet Witch here. We have some of her hex going on back here and around here. and. In her hair, we kind of, because we get the double image, it's, her hair is really like the hex coming out, and, and you see stars and, and like the mystical portion of this. And uh, if you know anything about Scarlet Witch, and I know very little about her, she's a very, 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 very powerful superhero. And it's good to have her on the superhero side in that regard, so uh, it's very fortunate they were able to convert her over to the good side from the dark side if you were to look at it in that manner. So uh, I, I think this really does a, I mean, this is great artwork. These boxes are always are great. They're people who will display just boxes uh, behind their figures and or on their walls or, or whatever. And this is obviously a great box just for displaying. It has a side so exclusive sticker up here and Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, um, all of this is smooth, except this a, which is in the background still, you can feel that, and I'm thinking it, it's hard to sit to tell, but I think not only the A, but this portion, of the shield also is, you know, it looks like a shield, it looks like a spotlight, it looks like a target she's standing on, it's hard to say exactly what it is. I'm thinking all of this red here as well is textured. That's pretty cool. So on this side, the artwork continues. The Scarlet Witch New Avengers version. MMS 357. one six scale collectible figure. And Avengers symbol. Now, uh, in the comics, this was her symbol. She had like a, a hood that she wore. And it was a, a big deal. So, we'll see in a minute. In this figure, they did a pretty good job of paying respects to that. And on the back, we have the warnings. So it's a sleeve box, so let's slide it off. And here we can see Scarlet Witch in her shadow box. So she does come with, appears to be going to be the same hex as she came with the last figure, but she's definitely in a new outfit. And there's her hands and pegs and a step. On this side, it says the same thing as it did on the outside of the box. And on this side, it's the same image it was on the outside of the box. On the top it says Scarlet Witch, New Avengers version, I'm a Mr. 76 scale collectible figure, and on the bottom it says Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron, and on the back we have the people responsible for this figure. So let's open up the package here. Kind of a pink little color in there. Very important instruction manual.
hands here. So she's got different rings, different finger poses uh, for the two hand sculpts. And the same thing for her left hand. They are different as well. So here's her left hand translucent hand sculpts. And for the Age of Ultron, we only received one translucent hand sculpt. But still, as you can see, the rings are different um, on these, and the hand positions are differently placed on these. So there's their hand sculpts for the New Avenger compared to the Age of Ultron over here. Now one thing that I like what they did with this new Avenger figure, even though she only got just a couple of seconds of screen time in the movie, they paid homage to her comic book helmet that she wore. You can see that right there. That's to represent the Scarlet Witch from the comics that you may be familiar with. And I think they did a pretty good job with that. They did her hair differently here as well from the original figure that we received, the Age of Ultron figure. But then again, this is completely reminiscent of what she was at the end of Age of Ultron when they were assembling the, the new Avengers. I think they did a really good job with her. If you missed out on the Age of Ultron figure, you won't go wrong picking this figure up. And here she is side, to side by side with her other self from the Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron movie. And there's a striking difference between the two characters completely. And that gives you an opportunity, I would say, to be able to choose which Scarlet Witch could be your preferred to add to your collection. She is just a little bit taller, but I think that has to do with mostly the boots that she's wearing are a little taller than her hiking boots or combat boots or whatever you want to call those boots. Her high-heeled boots are a little taller in my opinion. I would explain that as to why the uh, difference in her height. All right, here we have the instruction manual. Open it up here. And it starts off with how to put the hex effects onto the left and right hand, and how to remove the hands from the arms and put them on there. And it shows again how to put it on there. And it tells you a whole list of things about what not to do to disfigure. Uh, the bucket don't come, buckle don't come off, don't take off the uh, outfit, don't expose the figure to direct sunlight, do the nature of outfit's material, color may transfer onto the figure after extended amount of time. So it's a big warning on this figure, believe it or not. Now, uh, in addition to the hands that they've included, they also give you an extra set of hand pins right here. And one other thing I want to show you, back here, her uh, figure has a zipper. So you can, I would imagine, remove it if you wanted to, even though it tells you not to. But there's the zipper right there on the back of Scarlet Witch's costume. And here are the face sculpt differences between the two. So you can see that what minor differences there are in the, the head sculpts of the two figures as well. So thanks for watching everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Will you be adding it to your collection? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald and on Twitter at Siri Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. 
every little bit helps. Share my video and give it a thumbs up. Believe it or not, that actually assists. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button right here. And you can see my last two videos that I made by clicking on one of them right over here. And in all honesty, to tell you the truth, I only need one Scarlet Witch in my collection. So, if you're interested, let me know. And if you give a fair offer for it, and I mean something that's comparable to what's currently being offered or sold for on third-party resellers, I'll be more than happy to pass one of these figures on to you. I'll keep one, you make a fair offer on the other, and I'll be very happy. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.